Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about MRI rectal carcinoma staging. I have selected the topic from this reference article MRI of rectal carcinoma, tumor staging, imaging techniques and management. Rectal carcinoma staging is of two types. Primary staging which is done preoperatively. Here T2 weighted images are important. Restaging which is done after neoadjuvant chemo radiation therapy. Here DWI and contrast studies are important. Images obtained are oblique axial plane which is perpendicular to the tumor axis, sagittal plane which is longitudinal to the tumor axis and oblique coronal plane which is parallel to the anal canal. Rectal carcinoma staging is a multidisciplinary approach. So the checklist is first step is to check the patient medical records which includes digital rectal examination, endoscopic evaluation, previous treatment or any procedures done. Second step is to identify the tumor and its most invasive border. Third step is to identify the tumor location, its craniocaudal direction, circumferential plane, length of the tumor, relationship to anterior peritoneal reflection, distance from its inferior border to anorectal junction and anal verge. Fourth step is to see whether it is mucinous or non-mucinous. Fifth step is to do the tumor staging and know the circumferential resection margin status. Sixth step is to see whether sphincter involvement is there or not. So the technique we use for tumor staging is rectal cancer. In rectal cancer, A stands for analyzed prior images and tumor regression grading. These two are important in restaging of rectal tumor. These are the T2 weighted oblique axial images showing rectal wall layers, mesorectum, mesorectal fascia and anterior peritoneal reflection. Coming to the rectal wall layers, the lumen is surrounded by the hypointense line that is mucosa and the submucosa is middle hyperintense area and muscularis propria is the outer hypointense area. Surrounding the rectum is the fatty tissue known as mesorectum. It has lymph nodes and lymphatic vessels and a thin low signal intensity line surrounding the mesorectum is mesorectal fascia. CRM is measured by the shortest distance between the tumor and the MRF and anterior peritoneal reflection is the hypointense line of the peritoneum attached to the anterior wall of the rectum in V-shape. It has seagull sign. In sagittal plane, this is seen above the top of seminal vesicles in sagittal plane in men and in plane of the uterocervical region in women. These are the T2 weighted sagittal and coronal planes. In sagittal plane, we can see the retrorectal space, anorectal ring and anal verge. It is the lower edge of the anal canal. In coronal plane, we can see the internal sphincter which is the continuation of circular muscular layer of the rectum and external sphincter complex which is mainly the continuation of levator ani muscle with puborectalis sling and the intersphincter groove which is a plane between the external and internal sphincter. Coming to the location of the tumor, we should measure the distance from the inferior border of the tumor to the anal verge and to the anorectal junction. If it lies 0 to 5 cm, it is low rectal tumor. If it is between 5.1 to 10 cm, it is mid rectal tumor. If it is between 10.1 to 15 cm, it is high rectal tumor. Tumors above 15 cm from anal verge are considered as colon cancers. And the morphology can be types can be discussed as circumferential, semi-circumferential, polypoidal, and ulcerative. For localization of the tumor position, we should check according to the anal clock with patient in supine lithotomy position. These are the axial T2 weighted images showing polypoidal growth with a stalk and it is a circumferential growth and it is a semi-circumferential growth. Business tumor shows high signal intensity on T2 weighted images which have poor prognosis with high metastatic propensity than that of the non-mucinous tumors which shows low signal intensity. To identify the most invasive border, we should take the halfway between the craniocaudal length and we should take the axial section and we can see a C-shaped tumor and the most invasive border is the central border of the C-shaped tumor. Coming to tumor staging, Tx is primary tumor cannot be assessed. T0 is no evidence of primary tumor. Carcinoma in situ intraepithelial or invasion of lamina propria comes under TIS. If the tumor invades submucosa, it is T1. If it is ismidic, muscularis propria, it is T2. If subserosa and peritectal tissue is involved, it is T3. Again, T3 is divided into 
T3A if less than 1 mm is involved. If tumor is involving 1 to 5 mm, it is T3B. If 5 to 15 mm, it is T3C. And greater than 15 mm, it is T3D. If the tumor penetrates to the surface of the visceral peritoneum, it is T4A. If the tumor invades or is adherent to other organs or structures, it is T4B. Circumferential dissection margin is the surface of non peritoneized part of the rectum that is dissected during surgery. CRM status can be obtained by measuring the shortest distance between the outermost part of the rectal tumor and the MRF. It is important to highlight that rectum is not entirely surrounded by MRF and thus CRM status is not applicable if the tumor is situated in peritoneized aspect of the rectal wall. As we all know, lower rectum is surrounded by the mesorectal fascia entirely but in mid and higher rectum only it is surrounded posteriorly. CRM status is potentially positive if it is less than 1 mm and threatened between 1 to 2 mm and is considered negative if more than 2 mm. EMVA is the direct invasion of the blood vessel by the tumor which is usually a vein. It is a 5 point grading system that is derived by comparing the morphological features in MRI with histopathological differences. EMVI score is 0 if there is no vessel in the vicinity of the tumor. If there are vessels in the vicinity of the tumor with normal caliber and without any tumor signal intensity, it is score 1. If there are slightly expanded vessels without any tumor signal intensity, it is score 2. If there is intermediate signal intensity of the tumor with expanded vessels, it is score 3. And if there is obvious irregular vessel contour or nodular expansion of the vessel by definite tumor signal, it is score 4. EMVI status is negative for score 0 and 1, equivocal for score 2, and positive for score 3 and 4. For low rectal tumor staging, conventional staging is insufficient because tumors in low rectum are in close proximity to the anal sphincter complex and are more likely to invade the MRF and adjacent organs with positive surgical margins in about 30% of cases. Coronal oblique plane is the best image for this evaluation at T2 weighted MRI. Regional lymph nodes involved in rectal cancer include mesorectal, superior, middle, inferior rectal, sigmoid mesentric, inferior mesentric, lateral sacral, presacral, sacral promontory, or internal iliac. Lymph nodes out of these chains are considered as Lindstedt's metastasis. A group of tumor cells not associated with lymphoid or vascular tissues are defined as tumor deposits, which are categorized under N1C. Coming to N category, NX is regional lymph nodes cannot be assessed. N0, no regional lymph node metastasis. Depending upon the number of lymph node involvement, it is N1 or N2. N1A is 1 lymph node, N1B is 2 to 3 lymph nodes involvement, N1C is tumor deposits in sub or mesentery or non peritonalized perirectal tissues, N2A is 4 to 6 lymph nodes, N2B is 7 or more regional lymph nodes. Lymph nodes measuring greater than 8 mm in short axis diameter are highly specific for metastatic involvement. Morphological characteristics of malignancy include presence of irregular borders, heterogeneous signal intensity, and round shape. If greater than 9 mm, single lymph node is considered positive. If 5 to 9 mm, 2 or more is considered positive. If less than 5 mm, 3 or more is considered positive. In restaging rectal carcinoma, the normal rectal wall adjacent to tumor can manifest with post chemo radiation therapy changes such as submucosal edema, which appear as intermediate to high signal intensity on T2 weighted images that can lead to a common pitfall usually misinterpreted as residual tumor. A residual tumor has intermediate signal intensity on T2 weighted images, whereas fibrosis has low signal intensity. Oblique axial T2 weighted images showing intermediate signal intensity and restricted diffusion in TWI. An oblique axial T2 weighted MR image obtained after near adjoint chemotherapy showing diffusion restriction on TWI and low ADC values, which confirms a residual tumor. Tumor regression grading. Grade 1 is complete radiological response, no evidence of treated tumor. Grade 2 is grooved response, dense fibrosis greater than 75%, no obvious residual tumor. Grade 3 is moderate response, greater than 50% of fibrosis and visible intermediate signal intensity. Grade 4 is slight response, little areas of fibrosis are missing, but mostly tumor. Grade 5 is no response, intermediate signal intensity, same as that of the original tumor. This is the rectal cancer primary staging MRI reporting template which tells about the tumor location, its morphology, 
cranioid length circumferential location morphology misness or non misness tumor category is it invading any local organ and in low rectal tumors will tell about the invasion of the sphincter complex emvi status crm status and any suspicious mesorectal lymph nodes or any tumor deposits or me extra mesorectal lymph nodes or any other additional comments this is a case from our institution these are t2 weighted oblique axial images showing non mucinous growth at approximately 7 cm from the anal verge and it is semi circumferential extending from 12 to 9 o'clock position and the tumor is confined to muscularis propria so the tumor category is t2 and the tumor is not extending into the mesorectum and the mesorectal fascia is also far away from it so circumferential resection margin is considered as negative and here you can see there are two to three small volume lymph nodes in the mesorectum so the lymph node category is n1b and here you can see small vessels in the vicinity of the tumor but they are not elongated and there is no any signal intensity on the vessels so the emvi status is negative so the staging of this tumor is t2 n1b and m0 thank you